In this video, I will show you an overview about quizzes, how to sign up and share a quiz to your students. If you are familiar with Kahoot, they are almost the same. To start, go to www.quizzes.com and then click sign up button and then you can sign up using your Google account and then automatically you'll be signed in to quizzes. So this is the interface of quizzes and we have this search engine or you can search any topic for existing quiz like for example mathematics, English and language arts, social studies, world languages, science, computer, technical education, health and physical education, etc. We can go to library where we can see lahat ng mga nagawa nating quiz and yung mga sinave nating existing quiz. For reports, if you already conducted your quiz or your game, makita natin yung report natin dito. Sa classes, we can connect our Google Classroom to our collection. You will see all our saved existing quiz. So, we can create folder and arrange it by topics or by subject. Then, you have your meme set and this is the settings. So let's go back to search and let's try to search a topic using our search engine. Let's say for example we have math 225,000 results and as you hover your mouse pointer you will see on the right side the different questions and kung ilan yung items for that quiz. And then you can like the quiz, you can heart it, and then you can also save it at makita natin yan sa ating collection. So since I have computer folder, you can add one, mathematics, click create. Then if you don't want to add the quiz, you can remove it. If you want to add, check again the folder, click done. Let's go back to our collections, open the mathematics folder, and click the existing quiz. We will share this one to our students. So click play live. And then we have different game modes like teams, classic, and test. So this is the gameplay settings. You can on the timer, show the leaderboard, shuffle questions, and shuffle, shuffle the answer options. And then let's go back, change the game mode to test, and click continue button below. So to share our quiz to our students, you can copy the link joinmyquiz.com or you can copy the game mode and share it to our students kaparehas po no kahoot. So let's try to open a student account to see the difference ng teacher's view and student view. So to join, click join again. And then enter the game code. So the game code niyan ay yung nasa teachers view natin. I enter natin sa student view and make sure that the student is signed up sa ating quizzes using their Google account. And then student will select at school and a student. Then the student needs to update their account details. So 
So the student can change their name and then they can turn off the music or turn off the sound effects. Then click start game. So on teacher's view, I click on the teacher to see the mga nag join as a quiz and the teacher can remove a student and it will not start unless you click the teacher to start button. This is the countdown. Medyo delay lang po ng konti because of the internet connection. And the student can start answering the quiz. And sa teacher's view, may kita yung accuracy. And yung rank. And this is the timer for student. So, bawat question, may timer. We are in question number 3, which is multiple choice. This one is checkbox option that the student need to click submit. So, may kita po natin sa teacher's view yung rank ng student natin. Kung sino yung nanguna sa leaderboard. At kung ilan yung tama at mali yung sagot nila. And as well as the accuracy kung gano'n sila kabilis sumagot. So, that's it. Tapos na yung game. And sa student view, makikita niya kung ilan yung correct answer and incorrect answers niya. And after that, pwede niya nang i-close yung browser. And let's go back to teacher's view. So, on teacher's view, makikita natin yung overview ng mga items na nakuha ng estudyante niya. Mali at tama. And sa questions, makikita din natin dito kung saan sila nahirapan. So that we can also discuss to them yung mga difficult questions na hindi nila nasagutan. And we can download the results. Yung result po ay naka-excel file. So you will see all the names of the students. And then yung mga correct and incorrect items and if you want to record the score you will see the total so that's it that is how are you going to sign up in quiz is and how are you going to share the quiz to your students and to see the detailed result so if you have questions leave in a comment box and don't forget to subscribe